What is an immunotherapy? Whether they have an inflammatory disease, whether they have a cancer or an allergy, an immunotherapy is designed to manipulate the immune system, to change the immune system in some way in order to give a, a, a benefit and restore that, that individual to, to health. Can you tell us a little bit about how each of these types of immunotherapies are developed? Essentially all of these are, study, are devised by studying the underlying biology of these diseases, normally beginning in models of disease, so in cell culture dishes, in, 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 um, in plasticware in the lab, uh, moving to animal models of disease of varying kinds, and then eventually working up, working and moving into human cells, which allows you, through the study of the basic biology of these diseases, to think about strategies for how you can develop them. And that's, that's across all kinds of immunotherapies, but also across all kinds of diseases. In the case of um, cell therapies um, for, for immunotherapy, um, one particularly interesting strategy was um, essentially resulted from the work of um, Professor Ralph Steinman, who won the Nobel Prize a few years ago. And he identified a type of immune cell called a dendritic cell. Discovering these cells has led to a particularly efficacious, um, at least in some patients, type of cell therapy, immunotherapy, whereby cells are taken from the patient of, um, from the blood of a patient with prostate cancer. Um, they are taken from the blood. They're then essentially conditioned and mixed with other proteins um, and other cytokines, which are a type of protein that activates the immune system, in dishes in the lab. They're then fed, essentially given antigens from the patient's prostate tumour, which allows them to become activated. And these dendritic cells are then able to essentially, in the body, once they're transferred back in, activate other parts of the immune system to then kill the tumour, destroy the tumour, and, and allow the patient to, to at least partially clear um, the, their disease, the, mm. the prostate cancer in this case. Other examples are a newly, relatively newly discovered type of therapy called um, CAR-T therapy. These are essentially taking T cells from the patients, um, patients with various types of cancer, modifying them genetically, again in plastic dishes in the lab, and transferring them back in. So a similar process. The difference there is that these cells are the direct cells which can then help to clear the tumour and allow the body to, to return to normality after they've been um, developing this kind of, these kind of cancerous uh, lesions, essentially. Um, so another way or another strategy um, type of immunotherapy are a class of drugs known as biological drugs. They are a major group of these are the monoclonal antibody therapies um, developed over the last 30, 30 years or so. And these are actually using an element of your own immune system, monoclonal antibodies, either the antibodies that all of us generate in response to infections with viruses or with bacteria. But what a major breakthrough was to identify that you could generate these antibodies and use these antibodies actually as drugs, as immunotherapies, as drugs. Major classes of these um, have been discovered over the years and now this is a huge area of, of research but also approval of drugs is rapidly increasing. Um, the majority of drugs, new drugs approvals now are these biological drugs. Uh, what conditions sort of are currently treated by immunotherapies mm -hmm. and what conditions do you think could potentially be treated by them in the future? So a major um, focus of immunotherapy development has been in disorders of, of inflammation, so chronic inflammatory diseases like arthritis, multiple sclerosis, inflammatory bowel disease like Crohn's disease. Um, what's been emerging over the last few years is a big focus on immunotherapies for, for cancers. And this has been an area in which there has been a huge amount of research effort from both the academic and the commercial sector to drive new therapies um, in the field of oncology, so cancer biology, but linked to the immune system. And recently there's been a huge number of, of um, drug, advanced drug trials and several now very recently approvals of new immunotherapeutic drugs which, a, enable to, which are able to allow the patient to actually essentially kill off their own tumour using their own immune system. So in these patients with, with advanced cancers, for example metastatic melanoma or skin cancer, the tumour itself is switching off the immune system, which means that you are not able to kill it, clear it, and, and allow your body to return to health. What these immunotherapies do is they block that signal from the tumour, which allows your immune system to then become activated, and then your own immune cells to clear away the tumour and allow you to return, return to health. So this is a very interesting new area or new application for immunotherapies outside of pure immune-mediated diseases. Um, diseases that we historically were not thought to be immune mediated such as Alzheimer's, there's now accumulating evidence that immune pathways are involved and the, the biology of the disease appears to be related to Im immunology. And so immunotherapies designed for other 
things such as more classic immune-mediated disease may actually have use in other diseases like Alzheimer's and in, in dementia.